Yeah, yeah, how are we? You bunch of rude boys, hope everyone is sound. Welcome back to the channel. In the gymnasium again, surprise, surprise, in for lower rotation two, which is my quad dominant session of the week. I'm gonna train in a fasted state, which is a rarity for myself. When it comes down to training in a fasted state, the protocol is super simple. Wake up, one and a half liters of water alongside a hydration supplement in the form of Hydroflow by Conte, of course. And then saw my intro out, which is carb drive, Conte's intra workout carbohydrate source. Have 40 grams of that currently alongside the AAA. I'll sip half of that on the way to the gym. Park the automobile. Net conviction, the elite free workout. I'll then finish the rest of that intra around halfway through that session, or this current session, I should say. Then I'll just sip water, then get back for meal one. Code thick boy to get your discount. I'll put the code on the screen now. That was just a huge plug, wasn't it? Sold my soul there. But last session, my right knee wasn't happy at all. I had to call it early because it was screaming at me. But hopefully it holds up this rotation. It felt pretty good walking about and it has been hurting when walking from time to time. So should be able to just lock in and perform well this session. Excuse the hair as well, it's getting buzzed later. Outrageous. Abstract angle that. Three sets done. First one, 10, 12. Second, six to eight. Third, 12, 15. I've mentioned this in previous videos. There's nothing magical about rep ranges. You can be finishing sets within a program rep range, but if you're not seeing that concentric tempo slow down, you're not gonna see adaptations occur. You're simply not gonna make progress. In order to train effectively, we need to see a change in concentric tempo. We need to see it slow down involuntarily. So before you get wrapped up in rep ranges, just make sure you can train really hard. It's the most important thing. You could train by eight, 10 reps across the board and still make silly progress. As long as the accuracy and effort is there. Leg extensions next. Update on the knee. It's not feeling great. I'll still get three weapons that's done on this. It's not like a, a direct pain, it just feels slightly off a bit uncomfortable. I might miss out the hack, see how it feels. But if the hack isn't feeling good, I'll just run with the pivot press because it's less harsh. So instead of doing two working sets, leg press and pivot press, I'll just do four on the pivot. It's pretty annoying. Don't really know how it's got so aggravated because when I'm on these single joint movement patterns, I make sure my alignment's on point. So hit knee and ankle all in one line. But it's probably just repetitive stress. Like think about it, week in and week out, hammering these movement patterns. And of course, trying to expose the muscle to as much load as possible. But in turn, you're also exposing the joint to the same amount of load. Not many people will take that into consideration. Like your muscle might be able to hack it fine, but you know, the connective tissues, the joint itself might, might not be too happy. But we'll get it done. Not what you want, far from ideal. Right knee ain't feeling amazing. Got to the hack, went to get the green band out. Green band out, not there. Unbanded variation today. That felt all right to be fair, I might go a bit heavier. The main difference between the 
banded and non-banded variations just resistance profile. So when there's no band on it, very heavy in that bottom to mid range, lighter at the top, banded, lighter at the bottom, and gets progressively heavier as you drive through as that band starts to lose its tension. I'm always chewing gum now when I'm training. Is there like something addictive about chewing gum? Because I'm going through like a pack a day. Anyway, we'll get into it and hope I don't blow my knee to smithereens. Oh! Oh! There's a few more there though, but my right knee, I wasn't too confident. And the last thing I want to do is obliterate it. Then I can't train legs for a while. So we'll bank that. Gonna take one more set. Hopefully that goes well. And then get into that pivot press. Old man needs it 22, not a deal. Get that kids and tell them a star sign. Blood pressure PB, demon season. Knees felt right on that one. This is pretty, on talk, this is pretty much a video just about my knees, mate. Love that. Take another set, then we're done. That is session done. Excuse the lighting. It's like I'm in the darkness, mate. I've been trying to play around with this, but as soon as I put the brightness up, it just goes overexposed and that's far from ideal. Good session. Knee held up. Progression was taken on multiple movements. That's what we like. Thick boy season is still, of course, on. It's never gonna be off, mate, in all honesty. Gonna head back, shower, the sweaty body, eat some food, and then Get some work done before getting this this trim shorted out shorted out anyway like subscribe comment if you're feeling dangerous and i'll see you in the next one oh.